Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vegan Brie. I got the new Nomad palette. I literally just got home from work, barely wearing any makeup today, but I just got the new Nomad palette and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I didn't even see what this looks like prior to getting it. I only saw like three shades like everyone else. Okay, I hope this can pick this up. Hope this is picking this up. It is raised textured. It's like a canvas painting. And then even on the back, it's raised like, I mean, I will show swatches. So this is the, I'm so excited. Um, okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's, it's the Ottoman Japan Fuji or Fu, yeah Fuji Goko Japan. I may have to ask how to pronounce this and what exactly this says on here because um, I don't want to be the Fuji Five Lakes. I believe was is what this says, but I don't know. Um, so Nomad Cosmetics always supports a cause and the Fuji Five Lakes Intense Color Palette is the cause is more trees we are proud to support more trees forest conservation organization whose goal is to is a society where forests and people can coexist for generations to come i will also have all the details below like when it's coming out all those kind of things and then i'll show you the mirror but that is just like the me but there is a beautiful palette like oh my god just these blues are just mm. And I love you, my investors. I'm even going to play with the reds. Like, play with the reds. I was talking to the owner, and she was like, oh, it's not a neutral palette. This is kind of my neutrals. Like, the blues I can use as liner. I just think they're really cool. And, like, sort of grungy blues. Like, blue-gray. Um, even the reds, I think, are going to be funky for liner. Like, even, like, the momiji. Don't get me on my pronunciations, okay? I'm gonna do a look though, just for fun, funsies. Because I gotta dip my fingers into this because they're gonna be showing what it looks like tomorrow, AKA today. And so what I always usually do is I get the palette the day before it releases, what, like it's fully shown. And then, yeah, I also have a code vegan free to get 10% off. I think I want to do a more blue leaning look. Maybe I'll add some reds, like, and then yellow and blue. I don't, maybe we'll do like a, a super colorful look and then a more like work wearable look. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Wait, did I miss a shade? I did! My swatches. I missed Mount Fuji. Right there. All right, I'll take the more pictures, I guess. All right, and my kids are downstairs, so I'm just trying to like I do this kind of quick. Oop. You can hear people downstairs. My kids are here. My husband's here. My animals. All right, I want to use Fuji. <laughs> Fuji Goku. So I might use that in the crease. I'm going to use Mount. The shade, the darkest blue. And I'm wearing concealer, all the things like I just got back from work. It's Friday night. And this is what I this is what I do on Fridays, okay? Not really, but sometimes if there's a new nomad look, nomad palette coming out, then I do this on Fridays usually. So we got going on with that bad boy. And then let's blend out with Fuji Goku. Goku. You can blend out, and then I'm gonna blend out with Fuji, with Mount Fuji. I bet it's Fiji. I'm just saying it wrong, which I really hope I'm not, but I could be. We're having pizza and we do eat vegan in this house. 
I get asked a lot in my personal life. What do you like on your pizza? My kids are eating pineapple on pizza. I like black olives, mushrooms, like all the things. I don't know if you have a mod pizza, but my husband's just using a pizza crust and putting toppings on it. This is one, everything is blending super well. I'm just sloppily putting things on, all right? But I'm gonna use Mount Fuji. Ooh, I got some kick up on that, but it's a pastel. It's pretty typical, for me, for at least in my experience. Also could be like a cleanup shade if you kind of like got a little messy with it. That is pigmented though. Look at that. Not getting tons of fallout either. Look at that. And then we'll go back in and, you know, fix it and stuff like that. And then let's do the other side though, but mm, I'll do my shimmer. I just got to think about it first. Let's do a new more wearable, wearable for me. I'm going to do... Burnished Beach first, which is like the mustard. Oh my gosh, yes. I love mustards, but this is really good. I'm not compared it to the um, one, the fall palette from last year, or was it the year before? Which has a mustard, so I wonder if they're similar or not. Mm. Bring in the, it's like, give me like apple cider, apple juice vibes. Red Rowan, which is the brown. And then maybe on top of that, which I usually do like just two mattes and then I do like a shimmer and call it a day. But I'm trying to play with as many as I can. That is a really pretty brown. Being like different. It's kind of like a, not pinky brown, I don't know. That, 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 but give me the feels. <laughs> yellow Poller, I wonder if this is gonna be like a pastel yellow. Yes. Kind of, it's like almost like a uh, mustardy, like a pastel mustard, if that's even a thing. Day and night. <laughs> and then we'll do some shimmers. I'm gonna put some glitter glue on and we'll be I'll be back and we're gonna do some shimmers and then some liner and then lower lash on. Okay. I kinda wanna put some red over here, but also yeah, I think I can use all the shimmers. I think I can do it. I'm gonna do the blues and then smush it with the red. Okay, so I'm gonna do Kakawa. Oh my god, Kawa Gucci Ku. My, that is really bad. Mmm, when I swatched that, it was so smooth. They're all really smooth. But this one just like, I don't know if I have a blue like this. And they all are like sparkly. I don't know if there is a shift. There might be. And then put Yamana Kakoa. And they all have indents in them too. Like they all have imprints. Put that here. This one is a little more sheer when you swatch it, but it's not as, I mean, it's metallic, but it's not. And then, I don't know how to explain it. And then Fury, Fury Maple, which is like a red, but when I swatched it, it was more like a copper, but I'm pretty sure it's a red. And then of course, when you mix red and blue, you get purple. And then you know, kind of go back and forth with the two shimmers and then I'll Clean it up with the mats. It's, it's a process. And then let's do the other shimmers on this side. Let me show you up close. And then let's see over here. I'm gonna do golden 
Grinko, Gink, Gink go here. I'm not flicking you off. It's like a yellow with some blue. You just literally have to press it and that's it. So pretty. And then we'll do pompous grass, which is just oh, so pretty. This one could be seriously like an everyday look for me. And in my liner on this side, I am using the Mama G, Mama G here. And then on this side, I mix burning bush and fiery or fury my maple here and here. Just like, no, they're not twins. I was again, trying to do like a day and night, but like, <laughs> okay, let's do lower lash line. I'm in a goofy mood. Cannot wait to put that diamond Fuji or Fiji. Is it Fiji or Fuji? Let me know because I feel dumb. I don't feel very intelligent. Okay. I don't think what shades I have not used. Actually, I've used everything except for diamond Fuji, Fiji, and Koyo, which is the yellow. Well, the bright yellow. So let's do Koyo over here which is brighter, but I'm like, I need to use every shade. And we can use a little bit of a liner down here to kind of, I don't know, I guess not make it as bright. It's still not like neon, so I still feel like it's pretty wearable, and at least for me. I don't know if you wear this to work, but I would. And then the worn actually really, really bright yellow <laughs> from the last palette, the neon one. I'm gonna take the a little bit of the mus, a little bit of the brown, the red Rowan, and kind of like tone it down a little bit. I got some mascara smearing. This has been on since um, like six ish. So, or you have some breakage or anything, that's where that's from. And then you can always you know, go back in with the yellow a little bit. Yeah, and then inner corner. Honestly, you go with the yellow, pompous grass, diamond Fuji, which I might just do because I need to do it. I need to do it. I said it lately, and then over here I'll do it like boom. Mommy Ju. A little bit of burning bush in the front. And a little bit of um, fiery maple actually here too. And then In your corner, I'm gonna still do the Mount Fuji or Diamond Fuji, Diamond Fiji, but I'm gonna really saturate my brush and take a little bit on the inner corner as well. All right, mascara, but I'll put some mascara on the bottom lower lash line. I'll put some mascara on the lower lashes and then all you will be done. What do we think? Not too, not too shabby for, you know, quick look, right? Night and day, day and night. Okay, put some lipstick on too, but here we go. And lower lash mascara. What do we think? I'm loving it. it. Launches on the 20th. Like I said, all details will be down below. It will be in the description box down below. If you want to see more looks, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's just vegan 823 All the details down below about 
launch date, how much it is. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. As always, stay safe, healthy, and always do something that makes you happy.